Special thanks to Patreon supporter Martino14 for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scarecrow for you bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the CV9035. The Combat Vehicle 90, also known by the abbreviation CV90, is a family of Swedish tracked combat vehicles designed by Sweden's Defense Material Administration. Haglunds and Bofors during the mid-1980s to early 1990s, entering service in Sweden in the mid-1990s. The CV90 platform design has continuously evolved in steps from Mark 0 to current Mark 4 with advances in technology in response to changing battlefield requirements. The Swedish version of the main infantry fighting vehicle is fitted with a turret from Bofors that is equipped with a 40mm Bofors autocannon. Export versions are equipped with the Haglunds E-series turrets and armed with either a 90 or sorry, a 30mm or 35mm Bushmaster autocannon. The version we have in front of us is the CV9035. This version here is armed with a Bushmaster 3 35/50 cannon adopted by the Netherlands as the CV30 or sorry, CV9035NL and Denmark as the CV9035DK within Bay Systems Haglands. CV9035 is known as the CV90 Mark 3. So yeah, the CV9035 here is the export variant of the CV90. It basically has a bit of a different turret and a different uh, sort of gun on it. Um, this version here is specifically is used by the Netherlands, um, though this could be also used for um, the other nation we just mentioned, Denmark as well. Um, so yeah, pretty interesting vehicle and a nice kind of variant. Our first ever Modern Warfare Netherlands vehicle, I guess you can say. Uh, technically, this is still a Swedish produced vehicle, but this is kind of the export version and the Netherlands kind of equivalent, so I went ahead and chalked this up as a Netherlands vehicle and our first uh, first one in our hopefully a long line of Netherlands vehicles for our Modern Warfare ground vehicle section. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool uh, vehicle. Before we go ahead and take a look at it, we'll go ahead and give a special thanks to Patreon supporter Martino14 for making this tutorial possible. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel more you guys already do, feel free to check my Patreon page, link is always in my video descriptions, where you can go ahead and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a vehicle request you're choosing. It really helps support the work I do on my channel and is very really greatly appreciated, so definitely feel free to check it out if you are interested. Anyways, with that, let's go ahead and move in here to taking a look at this uh, vehicle. So we'll start off with, um, compared to the previous CV9040 that we did a tutorial on not too long ago, um, it does have a different front, so it isn't as a uh, come to a point on the front compared to the CV9040. Um, this one kind of flattens off on the front here a little bit more. We then have the driver's view port, all that stuff. Uh, your main difference here really is going to be in your uh, turret here, which uh, you have some different optics, um, a different gun, and uh, kind of has a more box turret rather than kind of a weird abnormal type shaped turret that the CV9040 has, um, which is kind of more sloped and all that stuff. This one's kind of more boxy, I guess you can say. Uh, we also have this little uh, cupola, which seems like on the back here, a little hatch, um, which again seems like a 9035 feature only. Uh, but yeah, overall pretty cool vehicle and um, you're going to see a lot of reminiscence designs to the um, CV9040 with the with the hole and all that stuff. But uh, your main difference is really here being the turret, the front, and also that can pull it there on the back. So overall pretty interesting vehicle and should be a fun build to add to any of your um, kind of uh, northern uh, Europe countries. And uh, with that, let's go and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving into our first layer here, we're we'll going ahead and start off with layer 1. For layer 1 to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to be going ahead and placing down an air brick slab, followed by an air brick top slab coming off of like so. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a black shulker box, like so, followed by two polished black stone stairs, back to back. We're going to go ahead and place down a row 3 of black shulker boxes on their sides, like so, another polished black stone uh, set of two stairs back to back and an air black shulker box on its side and then bring it to the end here an air brick slab and an air brick top slab at this point here we want to go then go to each one of our black shulker boxes we're going to place some item frames on the sides of them and in those item frames uh, we want to go ahead and place down green stained glass panes so we're just going to place down one two three four and five and if you're on java we can go ahead and place a dark oak button on the side of those shulker boxes as well Note that's only a Java feature that you're able to put a button and an item frame in the same block space. If you're on bedrock, I would recommend just going ahead and placing down the item frame and disregarding the buttons uh, for the tracks there. After that's done, however, uh, we want to go ahead and then take our dark oak wood 
slabs, and we're going to place down a row of three, that's going to be, or sorry, a row of four, that's going to be coming off of the narrow brick slab there. And on both sides here, we're going to place down a zombie head. After that, we're going to then follow this up and place down a narrow brick slab here, followed by a narrow brick top slab coming off it like that. And then going back from this, we're going to place down a black shortcut box on its side. And then two polished black stone stairs back to back. And then two black shulker boxes, or sorry, three black shulker boxes on their side. And then again, two black stone stairs back to back. And an Arabic black shulker box on its side, followed by an Arabic slab and an Arabic top slab like that. After that, same thing we do on the other side over here to this side, item frames. And then we're going to place down green stained glass paints in those item frames. And again, if you're on Java, a dark oak button on those shulker boxes as well. At this point here, going ahead and go into the back, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood slabs and also some spruce wood slabs. Start on the left side here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab, cut off that narrow brick slab, and then three spruce wood top slabs over like so. And then grab our zombie heads, we're going to place down a zombie head on the two slabs on the outsides, like so. After that's done, we can go and then take our dark oak wood top slabs and just fill the inside in, like so, for the base here of the vehicle. And once we have that all done, that right there is going to basically do it for the structure here for uh, layer number one. Taking a look at it from above here, this is what we should have for the top down view. I'm going to go and grab some materials we'll need to make those banners there that are going to be going on those two stairs. So I'm going to grab those materials and I'll be back here shortly to uh, go ahead and work on those. Alright guys, go ahead and move into our banners. Uh, to go ahead and get started here, we're going to need a loom, two green banners, and four black dye. For this, we're going to go into our loom and place down our green banners, our black dye. We're going to select a. We're going to split the banners in half. So for our first banner here, we're going to do the black on the left side, and then for our next banner, we're going to do the black on the right side. After we have those two banners done, we're going to put each one back into our loom. We're going to go and do the line that goes across the center there, and same thing here, line across the center, just like that for those banners. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down these banners here on the sides of these polished black stone stairs. So this is going to go on both sides, like so, on the side of the wheels. And after we have that all done there, that's going to pretty much wrap up what we have there for layer number one for the build. Anyways, that right there is going to conclude this layer. Let's go ahead and move on to layer number two. All right, guys, moving to our next layer, we have layer two. For layer two to get started with here, we're going to place down an air brick stair on top of those top slabs like so. We then want to place down a row of four green terracotta across, followed by a green shulker box to both sides. Item frame, green terracotta block in the item frame and a dark oak wood button. Same thing over here, item frame, green terracotta block and a dark oak wood button. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block across, or sorry, row four, followed by a dark oak top side to both sides. Item frames on the side here, and then we're going to place down an orange bed in the item frame, rotate on its side like so, and a dark oak sign on the side of the stair. Same thing over here as well, just like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of six, going across, followed by a second row of six, a third row, four, five, six, and seven rows of six going all the way across. Now on the sides here, we're going to place down one, two, three, dark oak with buttons, item frame, orange bed in the item frame, rotated sideways, and a dark oak with sign over it if you're on Java. And again, three dark oak with buttons back from that. Over here, the same thing, three dark oak with buttons, item frame, orange bed in the item frame, dark oak with sign rotate around, and then three dark oak with buttons back. We then want to place down a row four of green terracotta across, a dark oak with upside down stair to both sides, item frame, and we're going to then place down our orange bed rotated in the item frame facing toward the front like that. And same thing over here as well, like so. After that, uh, we want to go and then take our green terracotta, place down a row of four across, a green shulker box to both ends, item frame, green terracotta block, dark oak with button, same thing over here, item frame, green terracotta block, dark oak with button. And then we're going to place down an Arabic stair on top of those two top slabs. And between these, we're just going to place down a row of, of uh, three of spruce wood upside down stairs over there to the right side. We're going to go then place down a mossy cobblestone wall in the center. A dark oak wood upside down stair coming off that wall. And we're going to go and wrap dark oak wood signs around this stair like that. And after that's all done, we also want to go ahead and actually delete this sign here. And we're only going to place down one here on the face there of the stair. So it's going to be like that on both sides. Anyways, once you have that all done right there, that is going to basically wrap up the uh, back there. And for the front, we're going to place down a dark oak with upside down stair. Coming off those two stairs there. And then a row of two of upside down stairs across between the middle. And after that, we want to go and then place down dark oak with signs. Coming off the face there of those stairs, just like that. And after that's all done there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for uh, layer number 
two. And with that, let's go and move into layer number three. All right, guys, go ahead and move into our next layer. We have layer number three. For layer three to go ahead and get started with here. We're going to place down row three of daylight detectors. Sorry, row six of daylight detectors across the front here, followed by an item frame on both sides. And then we're going to place down a white bed in the item frame and rotate so it's on sides, like so. After that, we're going to go ahead and also place a dark wood sign on the side of the daylight detectors like that for the front headlights. With that done, we're going to go then take our dark oak slabs. We're going to place down a row of six coming across, like so. We then want to place down a dark oak stair like this to the side. And then after that, we're going to place down a row of two of prismarine blocks. And then one, two, three dark oak stairs over. After that, we want to go then take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of six across, followed by a second row of six. Then a third row. And we're going to go and do four. Do uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, then nine, and we're gonna stop at nine rows back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we're just gonna take our dark oak trap doors, place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we're gonna make sure all these dark oak trap doors are closed like so. Same thing over here. So just like that. And then after that, on the back here, uh, we're going to very simply place down a green shulker box on top of those two stairs there. We then want to place down a dark oak trap door on the side here of those shulker boxes. And we're going to go also place down a ladder coming off those shulker boxes like that on the back there. We then want to place down a green terracotta block here on top of that wall, followed by a second green terracotta block back and a dark oak trap door across the side of this green terracotta block. From this uh, over to the side, we're going to place down two spruce wood up downstairs facing each other, like so, and then a row of two spruce wood signs across. And after that, we're just going to place down a spruce wood plank right here next to those signs. And also behind those um, up downstairs there, we can also go and place down two black con concrete blocks like that, just to kind of create that little uh, viewport there, a little slit there. And with that all done there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for layer number three. And with that, we're going to move into layer number four. Alright guys, going ahead and move into our next area. We'll be moving into layer four. For layer four to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a zombie head on top of this stair here. Followed by a zombie head at a slight angle to both sides like that from it. We're going to go ahead and place down a spruce wood trap door right behind that middle stair. And then two dark oak wood trap doors to, uh, and up with those green terracotta blocks after those prismarine ones. After that, we want to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood stair here. Followed by one stair to both sides like so. So it is going to be off-centered a little bit. We then want to place down a daylight detector here to the left side and then two over here to the right side. After that's all complete there, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a row of three of green terracotta blocks across. And we're going to go then place down a mossy cobblestone wall to both ends like that. Once we have that done, we're going to go and do this same row here a total of three more times. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, and one, two, three. After that, we're going to take our daylight detectors, one, two, three, on the side there, and then our dark oak wood slabs, slab here, and then two over, and then same thing over here, dark oak wood slab like that to the side. We're going to go then place down a green terracotta block here in the center, mossy cobblestone wall to both sides like so. And then at this point here, start on the right side, we're going to place down two dark oak wood, or sorry, two polished blackstone slabs back, and then a dark oak wood slab. We then want to grab ourselves spruce wood stairs. And we're going to place down two spruce wood stairs like so. Followed by two green shulker boxes. One, two. And we then want to place down two dark oak wood stairs like that. After that's done, we're going to take our spruce wood slabs. Go one, two. One, two. And then we're going to take our dark oak wood slabs. Go one, two, three over. And then one, two. So it kind of wraps around the whole rest of the side there. Uh, we then want to grab a dark oak wood trap door. Place it down on top of this green shulker box here. And then go ahead and grab ourselves some item frames. We're going to grab item frames and also some red beds. We're going to place down an item frame on these dark oak slabs here to both sides. A red bed in the item frame, rotate on its side like so. And we just want to get then place down a dark oak sign. Let that come off the slab. And after that's all done there, that is going to pretty much wrap up what we have there for uh, layer number... Excuse me, layer number uh, three there. Or sorry, layer number four. And uh, with that, we'll probably go ahead and... Uh, move into our last final layers. So with that, let's move into our last final layers. Alright guys, go ahead and move into our last final layers here. We have layers 5 through 9. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a dark oak slab. That's going to be going ahead and going on top 
of this green terracotta block here. We're going to go ahead and place down two polished black stone slabs going forward. And we're going to go ahead and place down two end rods, uh, sorry, three end rods uh, going forward from that. Followed by a wither skeleton skull here on the very tip. After uh, that's all done there, we want to go ahead and then place down a dark oak stair here to the side. And then a green shulker box over here to the right side, like that. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence gate on top of the stair. Open it up toward the front there. We're going to then place down our item frame coming off the fence gate. And then a black bed in the item frame rotated sideways, like so. After that, uh, we're going to then take a dark oak wood sign. We're going to place it down on uh, the two sides here of these polished black stone top slabs. Or this first one, like so. And then right next to it, coming off this dark oak wood stair, we're going to place down a chain like that. Once that's done on top of these polished or these mossy cobblestone walls to both sides, we're going to place that polished black stone slab. Followed by a wither skeleton skull coming off of it. We then want to place on a row three of green terracotta across the center there. Followed by a second row three. And then coming off the sides there, we're going to place down two green shulker boxes on their sides, like so. So just like this, two both sides. And we're going to then take our tripwire hooks, place down two tripwire hooks on the sides there, like so. And then a row three of green terracotta going across. Uh, we then want to place down a mossy cobblestone wall to both sides, and then a dark oak wood stair that's going to be on top of this green terracotta block there in the center. After that, we just want to go ahead and then place down a zombie head on both sides of the stair, like so, to go ahead and form the back there. This portion here on top of this uh, green, these green terracotta blocks, or, or sorry, green shulker boxes, we're going to place down zombie heads here at about 45 degree angles. So just like this all the way around. And go ahead and grade that little cupola. And once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and start moving to the top here. So on the top here, we're going to place down a green shulker box here. Coming off of it, we're going to go ahead and grab an item frame. We're going to place down an item frame. And then in that item frame, we're going to go ahead and place down a black stained glass pane, just like that. After that's done, to the sides here, we're going to place down two green carpets to both sides like that. And another green zombie head right here on top of that green terracotta block. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a spruce wood trap door here to both sides like so. An item frame in the center, green terracotta block, and then we want to go and then place down a dark oak wood button on that green terracotta block as well, followed by a narrow dark oak wood button back from it like that. After that, we're going to place down a redstone comparator. After that, a uh, trapdoor there on the right side, and then we're going to go and take a dark oak wood fence post and place it down on top of these mossy cobblestone walls to both sides there, and then we're going to go up one, two, and three iron bars and one, two, and three iron bars going up like so. And after that's all done there, that is going to basically wrap up what we have there for uh, layers five through nine. And with that, that's going to complete my tutorial here for the CV9035 NL. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put it to good use. If you guys do be use using this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This could be anything from a the build, link to my channel or this video if this does appear in social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, your freezer for whatever project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Again, the big special thanks to Patreon supporter Martino14 for making this tutorial possible. And always, as always, feel free to check my Patreon page. Link is always in my video descriptions. With that though, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That's has been to before, and I'll see you guys next time.